Hello, David here with Entertechnics, and today I'm going to go over the latest version of our slag detection software, Slag Index version 4.0. Let's start off by going over the main front panel. You'll notice the live video feed over here, which can be adjusted by using the live image settings found over here. From here, we can change the colorization by selecting any of the five color tables that are available. We can also add or remove timestamps and a channel display watermark. And you'll also see some advanced settings that I'm not going to cover today, but more information is available in our manual about those settings. We can also change which camera we are viewing from here, although since we only have one camera visible on the network as seen under the network cameras list, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on channel 1. Right above the live image settings, you can see we have a button to save all settings. Clicking this will store whatever settings you have changed, even if you exit the program. Above that, you'll find the full screen button. By clicking this, you will enter an image-only view showing the entire live image. To get out of this image, simply click anywhere inside of the actual image. Over to the right, we will find the image capture settings. From here, you can manually capture images and video or configure the automatic capture events. The snap rate determines the interval between image captures. The clip duration determines the length of each video segment, while the periodic rate is the time in between each video segment capture event. So, for example, here we would be recording a 10 second clip every 15 minutes. The image and video files can be found by navigating to your C drive, going into the ITSI directory, then going into the data directory, and from there you can choose to go into the video or snapshot directory. Next I'm going to go over the slag determination process. You can see here we display the end result, which is a binary image that shows what the program has determined to be slag. You'll also notice that we have a selected frame image with some shapes drawn in it. We refer to these shapes as zones, and you'll notice that there are some numbers attached to each zone displayed down here. These numbers represent the total amount of slag found inside each of the corresponding zones. We also display the overall percent of slag found in the image, which is basically like drawing a zone around the entire image. The raw slag index data is recorded to a CSV file, which can be found by navigating to the C drive, and then the ITSI directory, in the data directory, and from there you'll find a CSV logs directory which contains each day's slog indexing numbers. Those same numbers are also recorded on the chart below. You can modify the time scale of the chart as well as view each individual zone's history. Each zone can be modified, and here's the basic setup procedure. On the left side of the screen, you'll find a zone setup tab. By clicking this, it will take you to this menu, which allows you to redraw or alter the shape of any of the zones. It is important to note that properly configured zones is critical to having relevant slag determination data. Since each scene varies widely, you should consult with Entertechnics before modifying any of the zone's configuration. So here we have what looks to be a rectangle shape. Um, if we want to clear that zone, we can redraw it, and we can choose any of the shapes on the left over here. Um, if I don't like it, I can clear it. Let's go ahead and go with the circular shape again. And it does need to be inside of the frame, so we'll set it up here. And then once you are done, click Set Zone. And once that red button disappears, the zone has been properly set, and you are done. So let's go ahead and change out of there. And then anytime you do make a change like that, you do want to save the settings. We also supply a 4 to 20 milliamp output system with the majority of our systems. To configure these outputs, go to the Output Setup tab. From here, you can assign each of the zones to a specific channel and view their current output. If you have any other questions or would like something explained in greater detail, please consult our user manual or feel free to send us an email to support at entertechnics.com. Thanks for watching.